Hello, I'm Herald Press Editor Megan Grevy. Here's a look at the November 22, 2013 edition of the Herald Press. The Huntington County Emergency Management Agency is having a test of its Code Red notification system on Saturday morning. The Code Red system alerts people about emergencies via mass phone calls and text messages. Huntington County Emergency Management Agency Advisory Board President Leon Hurlbert said the system was used this past weekend to warn residents about the bad weather. More than 13,000 people have signed up for the system, EMA Administrative Assistant Jim Guy said. Huntington University film students are getting the opportunity to learn from the pros this week as they work on the film Likeness. Don Ford, Huntington University professor and producer of the film, said the department wanted to help students understand what it was like to work on a professional set, so the school brought in professionals from across the country, including director of photography for Duck Dynasty Jim Orr. The movie tells the story of a girl whose mother is selling drugs out of their home. A neighbor, however, reaches out to the girl in a way that changes her life. Students are helping to create the film for Youth for Christ to use to recruit members. Students at the Horace Mann Preschool are collecting food for love in the name of Christ and the Salvation Army. We thought we would see what the response and interest would be in this building, and it was great, so we just carried on, Horace Mann Preschool teacher Sarah Landrum said. Students are collecting food through November 22nd. More than 100 people showed up for the Huntington County Historical Museum's annual meeting and membership night Wednesday evening. Members elected Michael Howell as their new president, and outgoing president Patty Sowers announced the museum would be adding a kitchenette. The Volunteer of the Year Award went to Rick Beamer, and the Virginia Miller Award went to Richard Ness. Also at the, at the meeting, Alice Plasterer Stickler gave a presentation about her father, Eiffel Plasterer, and performed her bubble show, Fun with Bubbles. Eiffel Plasterer is best known for his bubble show, Bubbles Concerto. On the worship page, Trinity United Methodist Church is preparing for its community Thanksgiving dinner. The church will host the dinner from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. November 28th. For those unable to make it to Trinity United Methodist Church, Volunteers will be able to deliver meals that day as well, Dinner Chairman Jim Wilson said. The church is also looking for volunteers to help prepare the meal in the days before and help deliver the meals. In sports, Keaton Irwin signed to play basketball at Grace College Thursday. I grew up with a lot of kids who played there, and my brother transferred there, so that was a, also a huge factor, Irwin said. They made me feel welcome there right away, and it was an easy choice in all honesty. Irwin's father, Rob Irwin, also played at Grace College. New Viking wrestling coach Kyle Wood has been impressed with the hard work his team has put in during the offseason and is looking forward to the Warsaw Invitational this Saturday. I've been very excited with the work ethic, attitudes, excitement, and intensity I've seen this season from the kids. These kids are great and the effort is there and that's something you can't coach. 